This is Jesse Goldberg's Strassler, joined by Lansing Lugnuts catcher, first baseman, DH, middle of the order bat, Ryan Gold, and your second year in the Midwest League. How do you feel more comfortable compared to last year? You know, just being uh, being here last year kind of helped me, uh, you know, settle in. And this year coming back, it was just comfortable. So, you know, just uh, just having that feeling is a lot easier to come to the ballpark every day, like kind of knowing what's going to happen, what to do, and, you know, just go about your day. Was there something that you would have liked someone to have told you last year that you've been telling your teammates this year? Yeah, kind of just, you know, be yourself. Uh, have fun with it because it's a long season. You know, it's 140 something games. It's a, it's a grind. Everybody says it's a grind, but you know, if you come to work every day and you know you just have a bad attitude or just a not a good mentality about you know doing the work that you have to do, it's just going to make it even worse. And if you have fun with it and you know go, go about your day with a good attitude, then you know the 140 games is the easy part. So, and then you know it's pretty much what I've been telling everybody is just have fun be yourself you know just let it take care of it everything's going to take care of itself so. is, is that grind the biggest challenge of the summer yeah uh, it definitely is one of them the biggest challenges but uh, you know that's just part of baseball you're going to be doing that your, the rest of your career you know 162 you're going to add 20 more games so you know that's the easiest part about baseball the hardest part is you know pretty much just keeping a cool mind like cool calm head the whole entire season you know even if you start bad or you start really hot and then you slump or whatever you know ups and downs are going to happen so it's that's pretty that's what the hardest part for me is is just you know staying calm and being at the same level pretty much every single day when I come to the ballpark. When last year did you really start to feel the grind? Mm, probably August I mean even though I didn't start the season here I was still an extended you know I was playing every day so it wasn't like I was you know, not playing baseball and then showed up here. I was I was pretty tired. You know, we do a lot there still. Uh, it's more practice than playing games. But you know, when you get here, it's it's pretty much you know get to the field, do your BP, and then you get to the game kind of thing. So it was a little bit of a break at first, and then the games start catching up, and then how much you play, and then you know the it's it, I mean. It's pretty much even wherever you go. You know, college guys come in, they, they come in from a 60-game season, and then they go right into another 60-game season. So it's like they're playing 120 games. So it's, it's tough, but you, you got to love it, you know. You have to love, the ba you have to love baseball to want to do and play that many games. Do you have a different pregame routine at all this year compared to last year? Um, probably, I don't think so. I think I'm, it's easy once you find a good routine to stick with it and then keep it going. And last year, uh, everybody helped me get a really good routine, and I kind of kept it going through spring training, and then it, it developed even more. And you know, I think I have a really good routine now to so like what I need to do every single day, you know, just to get the body prepared and you know my baseball mind prepared to play. And coming to the game knowing that you're going to be playing that day is a lot easier than you know showing up and not knowing if you're in the lineup or not. So. It's all about mentality, honestly. At what point did you find out, hey, first base two this year? Uh, spring training. I played there a couple games. Uh, Dallas was talking to me about, like, I was going to be coming back here. Uh, so I asked him, uh, and he was like, you're going to be playing first. So he, I asked if I could play some more first base because I didn't really play a lot during spring training. I was just catching. So I asked him if I could play, like, three or four games before we left, and he did. I got a couple of games in, and... Coming, like I played first last year too, a couple of games, so it was, you know, comfortable. I was comfortable there, so it wasn't out of the normal, I guess. About the pitchers on this team, because you know them better than us. Yeah. Who as a batter would you not want to face? That's tough, because we got a lot of pitchers on this team that I wouldn't want to face. But, uh, you know, I I've caught all of them. I I would have to say right now it would probably be either Rack or. Uh, Ooh, there's so many. I don't even know. Rack comes to mind first. That's a tough one. Reese is tough too. They both got really good stuff down in the bullpen, and you know, Wink so far has a good season going for him. So he, he's a tough at bat, pretty much every single time you step up to the plate. So don't get me wrong. Everybody's really tough. I mean, our pitching staff is awesome. So I love catching them. It's so much fun. So uh, yeah, I think those three guys, honestly, for me, would be the toughest ones that I wouldn't want to face personally. 
about Jackson Reese, because not a lot of people knew about him, yeah. and now the season he's going on, why is he so tough to hit? Well, I didn't know him last year. I heard that he he was not like he is now, but you know, everybody makes improvements. Some sometimes it's little things, sometimes it's major mm -hmm. improvements. But you know, I heard that he dropped his arm slot a little bit, his ball's sinking a little more, it has a lot more depth to all of his pitches and that slider is just filthy. So, you know, he's he's starting to figure himself out, which is what you guys are seeing right now. And it's really fun to watch him pitch when I'm not catching, but hopefully tonight we get to see him again in the ninth for sure. Who shakes you off the most and who shakes you off the least? Uh, honestly, like, I don't think a lot of people really shake me off. I mean, it's, we, I, I know them pretty well to where I, I know what they want to throw in certain counts. And, you know, if, if they do shake me off, it's like maybe four or five times a game. But uh, I think I got a really good relationship with pretty much everybody on the team. You know, new guys come up, new guys come up. That's probably who would. But, you know, it's just the learning process of knowing who you have on the mound and what you need to do when they're on the mound. And, so far, so good this year. I think I've I've learned pretty much everybody, which is great. You as a catcher, you have to get yeah. to know the new guys. So let's say a Cree Finfrock joins us. How familiar are you with him? I actually have never caught him before, but I've asked uh, Danner, who was with him in Bluefield last year, and Tony, and uh, said that he has a good fastball, like 92-94 with a pretty decent slider. So we'll see that probably tonight. He'll probably pitch, but... Uh, you know, just like guys like that, you kind of have to like take a deep breath. If you've never caught him before, you can't be too anxious. To you just got to watch the ball come in and see what it does. It's something that I've learned because I've moved up and down a lot. So, you know, I'd, I've had to deal with new pitching staffs or you know just new people in general all the time. I'm talking to Ken Huckabee in charge of all the catchers. He says it just takes such time to learn and grow as a catcher. How are you growing defensively right now? Uh, defensively, a lot. Uh, I've worked, you know, at very, very hard at my, you know, just stances. It's crazy to think that just like a stance can help you out, but you always like play around with that, see if you can help you receive better, you know, get certain pitches to look a lot better. And then blocking's huge, obviously. So, you know, whatever stance you feel quicker in or whatever you don't feel good in, like, you got to know those things and you got to, like, just ride it out until it doesn't feel good anymore. And then when it when it stops feeling good, you got to tinker with it a little bit more. And then it's like a – it's an ongoing thing throughout your whole career. It's just like a swing, you know. It's not going to feel good every day or it's not working. You got to change it just a tiny bit. You don't want to make drastic changes. So, uh, like, yeah, Huck's right. It's – it's tough, but uh, if you just stick with it and trust the process, then you know you'll start seeing results for sure. Do you have multiple stances? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed last game, but I would drop to one knee uh, when there was nobody on base, or if it was just like a you know just like a leadoff guy, or pretty much I dropped to one knee, helped me got uh, a lot of calls down low last last game and. I'll probably do that again tonight, so we'll see how that works. And uh, with guys on, I'll be in I'll be in a secondary stance like normal. But I pretty much have three stances that I would go to. Yeah. Ryan Gold, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. The Lansing Lugnuts catcher, first baseman, DH, and everything. everything. The man of the people, uh, Ryan Gold. <laughs> I'm Jesse Goldberg-Strassler, and this is Lugnuts Baseball.